In this video, I'm going to talk about where you'd find dividends in a company's financial statements. Now, to be clear, I'm talking about dividends that are being issued by the company, not dividends that the company is receiving from another company. Okay, So, you would never find dividends declared or paid on a company's income statement. And that's because dividends are not an expense. If a company decides to declare and pay dividends to its shareholders, this is not an expense and it's not going to show up on the company's profit loss statement. Now, you might see an account called dividends payable on a company's balance sheet. Dividends payable is a liability and it shows that dividends have been declared, but they have not yet been paid. So once the board of directors declares a dividend, the company now has a liability because it owes dividends to its shareholders. So if those dividends have not yet been paid, but they have been declared, the company would have a liability called dividends payable. Okay, so you might see that on a company's balance sheet. Now, the statement of stockholders equity will show any dividends that were declared by the company's board of directors during the period. And the reason is that those dividends are going to affect the company's retained earnings account. Okay, and the statement of stockholders equity shows you the changes in all the different equity accounts that occurred over the course of the period. Retained earnings is an equity account. So you will see in the reconciliation from the beginning balance of retained earnings to ending balance, the dividends that were declared. Okay, so dividends declared are going to reduce the company's retained earnings. So you will find any dividends declared on the company's statement of stockholders equity. Now, the statement of cash flows will show any dividends that were paid. And specifically, that will be in the financing section of the statement of cash flows. This will be a cash outflow showing the dividends that were paid uh, to the company's shareholders. So in short, if the company declares and pays dividends, you're going to definitely see this in the statement of stockholders equity, the statement of cash flows. You will only see it in the balance sheet if the company has declared dividends but has not yet paid them. And so we're going to do an example for Walmart now. And you'll see Walmart did not have dividends payable in the balance sheet because all the dividends it declared, it had paid uh, by the time it issued its financial statement. So we're just going to see the statement of stockholders equity and the statement of cash flows for Walmart. So let's take a look. We'll start with the statement of stockholders equity. And let me make sure you can see all of it. Now, I know it's a lot of info there. Don't get uh, worried. Uh, what we've got here is we actually have multiple periods. So we start with uh, th this period up here, the beginning balances of the different equity accounts, common stock, additional paid in capital, retained earnings, accumulate other, uh, accumulate other comprehensive income. Uh, we've got non-controlling interest and so forth. So we start at this period, beginning of February 1st, 2021, and then we have the ending balance as of January 31st, 2022. So this is a, a period, okay? And then we've got this as a period, and then we've got this as a period. So we have three periods of time. I'm gonna focus on the most recent period as of the time I made this video. So we've got the balances as of January 31st, 2023. This is the balances. We've got retained earnings. So we had our beginning balance of retained earnings for Walmart. Okay, and that has these different things that happen. A Walmart reported net income and so forth. But this is what we care about right here. Cash dividends declared. And it even tells you the amount on a per share basis. 76 cents per share cash dividends. So the total amount, these amounts are in millions. So the total amount here, this number, 6,140, that's actually $6.14 billion of cash dividends declared for Walmart shareholders Okay, that occurred during this time period. So this looks like basically fiscal year 2023. There was one month of 2024 included there and 11 months of 2023. Uh, Walmart had uh, 76 cents of dividends per share for a total amount of six, uh, 6.14 billion. Now you might get confused. You might see this other account here cash dividend declared to non-controlling interest. Don't, don't let that confuse you. Okay, so that this amount here is not dividends paid to Walmart shareholders. Okay, so this amount here, the 6.14 uh, billion, that amount is dividends paid to Walmart shareholders. This amount, it, the amount uh, cash dividend declared to non-controlling interest. Remember, I've made other videos on non-controlling interest. Non-controlling interest is when a company acquires a controlling interest. So let, let's just say 65% ownership of another company. And then there's these other shareholders that own the remaining amount. We call that the non-controlling interest. 
So I don't know what Walmart's, uh, what the controlling, it, which firms we're talking about here that they, they have controlling interest in, but let's just say they own 65% of another firm. And then there's other shareholders who own 35% of that, that, that investment that Walmart controls. And then if that entity, okay, so we'll just call that entity, uh, we'll call it subsidiary. So that subsidiary, if they pay dividends and then those non-controlling shareholders get some of those dividends. So that's what this is here. This money, okay, and you see it does not affect retained earnings, right? It has no effect on retained earnings for Walmart. It actually affects non-controlling interest, okay? So it affects non-controlling interest for Walmart. So it's basically 776 million of dividends declared that go to non-controlling shareholders. So basically to an investment that Walmart has a controlling interest in, and then that's the dividends that are received by the shareholders that have a non-controlling interest in that entity. Okay, so do, do, again, to be clear, this dividends declared the non-controlling interest does not go, if you're a shareholder of Walmart, you're not getting that amount of money. Okay, so what you're getting is this here, 6.14 billion. Now, that's a statement of stockholders equity and that again shows dividends declared, right? The board declares the dividends but then paying of the dividends happens on a different date. So there's, you declare the dividends, the company reduces retained earnings and so forth. But now if we look at the statement of cash flows for Walmart, and again, we have three periods, okay? So we've got uh, the most recent fiscal year is what I'm gonna focus on right here, the one ended January 31st, 2024. So I'm gonna scroll down so we can, do you see everything here? As I said, it's in the financing section. Now, this is the actual dividends paid Okay, so we see dividends paid, 6.14 billion of dividends paid. Okay, now you see the dividends paid to non-controlling interest. Again, that does not have, this here is not dividends paid to Walmart shareholders. It's this one right here, dividends paid, 6.14 billion. That means, remember, this is a statement of cash flow. This, so that means the company had a cash outflow, so that's why it's in parentheses there, cash outflow paying 6.14 billion of dividends to Walmart shareholders. So they declared during the, for the year ended this, uh, January 31st, 2024, Walmart declared 6.14 billion of dividends, which we saw in the statement of stockholders equity. And then they actually paid all of that out, the 6.14 billion in terms of cash dividends paid to Walmart shareholders during that same period. Now, I didn't show you the balance sheet for Walmart because all the dividends they declared they paid during the same period. So they, they didn't have any dividend liability because remember dividend liability will only appear on the balance sheet if the company has declared dividends, but not paid them. In that case, it would have a liability for the dividends on the balance sheet. But in this case, they declared 6.14 billion of dividends. They paid 6.14 billion of dividends.